Feel like falling deeper. Cold nights, I'm too much. 잘 먹겠습니다. This is not the most aesthetically pleasing, but this is um, breakfast. At the Anyways, today's plan is apartment hunting again. agreement for the new apartment I'm very excited it's signed every time I move apartments it always feels like an end of an era and just starting a new chapter and this is why I like moving and I think a lot of you guys don't understand why I move so frequently it puts me in a new headspace a new environment and I like all of that I like that new I like that process and because I also make a lot of videos at home, I want to switch it up for you guys. Show you guys something new, something fresh. You know what I mean? Very, very exciting day today. I am checking out the new apartment. I'm going in early. I also need to install my own blinds, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. <laughs> Maybe I can show you a little sneak peek. Let's head on over. When I came to view it, it was like a really gloomy day, so it was like kind of dark, but so nice, so bright. This is the kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a little try on of some outfits that I picked out from Love Bonito. Thank you Love Bonito for sponsoring this portion of the video. I love the pieces I chose from Love Bonito because the fit is amazing, the style is minimal and simple which I like, and I really love their mission in empowering women. They have their hashtag feminine and proud campaign in honor of International Women's Day. I personally feel the most feminine and proud in this community when I have the confidence to open up about my own personal insecurities and vulnerabilities to hopefully uplift others who might be going through something similar so we can all rise together and honestly seeing these fits are making me so excited for warmer weather I love the back detail on this top paired with the white pants the outfit is simple but put together you can use my promo code LBX Michelle Choi for 10% off your order of $130 or more and I'll have the link in the description 
Bye. <laughs> I was looking at my cactus and I was like, what the heck is that? I think I'm gonna have to just cut this off right here. I think this is like past reviving, unfortunately. Just got out of the shower and I was gonna do like a Q&A, but I suddenly got really hungry, so I'm gonna eat real quick. the ends off weird combination but we're doing it let us go and enjoy our noodles I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of content you guys want to see from me. And a lot of you guys said that you guys just want to see me sit down and talk. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to re-moisturize. I'm going to be honest, I feel like I reeled back a lot on talking in my videos. <sighs> I don't know why, I just have like this fear of the more I put out my own thoughts and opinions into the real world. It's all up for critique. And there's a little part of me that's a little scared of that. Sometimes I let fear become like the forefront of my life, which is so bad. You know, like the fear of being critiqued, misunderstood, disliked. So naturally I stopped talking as much. It wasn't like intentional. Like I said, a lot of you guys were very confused and curious why I move so frequently. And I think I'm asked this question every time I move. The first move that I did, that was like my most adult decision that I ever made for myself. That whole process was so exciting and so liberating. I think that feeling is still so ingrained in me. You know, when you listen to music, some songs have like such a strong association to a certain memory that you have. And I think that might actually be the reason. I'm also like in my late 20s now and I think around this time you're like, oh my gosh, 30s is right around the corner. You're a little nervous, also kind of excited. But then you also look back at your early and mid 20s and you're like, wow, the time flew by. Me, two, three years ago, like during the pandemic, I was a completely different person, completely different stage in life, completely different mindset, just so different. Your 20s is such an interesting time. The amount of turbulence you have in this decade is actually kind of crazy. You know, you're having all these identity crises, you're learning about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, who you vibe with, who you don't vibe with, your boundaries, and my blush is looking crazy, your trauma, all of those things. I think it's because my sponge is not very damp, it's not blending very well. I think if I could talk to myself, I would tell her, live it up, be a little reckless, be youthful. I don't have like regrets or anything because I feel like I, I had a lot of fun, you know. I think one of my favorite memories is like, at like really late at night, we walked to the river and we watched the sun rise. It's like the conversations you have watching the sunrise is like, you never forget that. Those are the memories that I look back when I think about my earlier 20s. So I wish I could tell my younger self like to have more of those. Also another thing that I am learning is that there are seasons to everything. The relationships, friendships, with your personal self, there are seasons. I don't know why it's like such a simple concept, but it took me a while to really wrap my head around it. In, all, in different types of relationships, there might be a time when y'all are just a little offbeat and things are just not working out. There's another moment where the chemistry is perfection and like everything's working out in your favor. All of that is normal when it's not good, when it's good. All of those things is just part of what we call life. It's so normal and so simple, but like, I don't know why I had such a hard time accepting change. Sometimes you can drift apart to people, hobbies, interests, or you can develop new ones. I don't even know why I talked about this, but it was just on the top of my head. Maybe it's cause it's what I'm like, kind of talking about in therapy right now. And you know what? It actually feels really nice. <laughs> just like chatting. I feel like a big 
weight has been lifted off my heart. As scary as change is for me, I am still so, so grateful for it. Grateful for moving, grateful for this place that housed me for a year. And you guys who watch my videos, feeling very positive and grateful for a lot of things lately. It's not every day we're always happy and cheerful and grateful for everything. Sometimes you just want to complain about <laughs> everything and anything. Whatever you're going through, I'm sending you all the good vibes. I will see you guys later. <laughs>